pages. I, I collect sort of old books, I work on the flea market, and I take the time to visit. Yeah, to go and visit. Wow. I mean, these illustrations are maybe more than 100 years old, the astronomical ones. These are not so cool. <laughs> Uh, at the moment, I print them in A3 and A4 as inkjet prints. This guy here is one of my muses, Antonius. Yeah. They're wiggling together. Mm. Yeah, they're quite. They're kind of. <laughs> I mean, the photos in themselves are works of art, so it's yeah. also stealing. My idea was to create this dream state, which uh, is how to describe a dream state or a path of meditation, a path to enlightenment of the monk. These are few from the collection. The one on the right is uh, I did for my little sister, and uh, that the picture is not so good, but that's her down there making a little sand castle, and it's about her imagination. This one is two meters yeah, okay. tall, about six feet by four feet. This is the illustration and watercolor. I took a motorcycle. So. Oh, I found in the internet and found this image, no, I don't, wow. it's amazing. Wow. Mm. No, it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pen, and I just added the sky digitally, but otherwise it's on white paper, a oh, black and red pen. And this is where the humans initially come in, there's a lost, I, lost city in there, a uh, mermaid lagoon down in the corner. These are new ones. <laughs> I'm doing now, so it's just like taking old objects and rethinking how they work. <laughs> it's like a reflex camera, you take it apart. And there's a panda and there's a sketch of memory on all the sketchbooks. And on the outside here are the monks that take care of them, so they have their scaffolding and they get around.